Hey everyone, this is Kat and welcome back to the bookish side of me. And welcome to another video which I am very very excited to share with you. For today's video, this is going to be a little bit more special than the usual because I'm going to try something for the first time. This is going to be my first time doing this and I hope that you would forgive me if I will look like a chaotic mess in this video. So for today, we're going to talk about the 21 books that I would like to read for this whole year. These are the books that are on top of my priority list for the year of 2021. Um, all of these are backlist titles. And I just want to share them with you while I'm doing a mukbang. <laughs> this is not really a full-blown mukbang because I can't show you the food that I'm eating, obviously, because it's the ng table. So I'm going to show you. So I have here this um, shawmai, fried shawmai, and then kikyam, and then chicken ball. So my options were very limited. That's why I only got three street food and i have here some junk food <laughs> sorry so this is v cut and piatos i think and then of course this merienda this mukbang will not be complete without milk tea which i also just bought here in our subdivision i already forgot what it's called but i'm gonna put the link on the description box so if you are around cavite area you can check this out it's really good so so what we're going to do is, of course, I'm going to discuss with you the books that I'm going to read for 2021 while I'm eating this food in front of me. So I highly suggest that you get your own snack, get your food, whatever, so that you won't get hungry while watching this video and you cannot blame me because I warned you. I warned you, alright? Anyway, so let's do this. I have here a few books and I divided them into like probably categories although the genres also vary and the group age but yeah I just set it up according to what I am comfortable with sharing with you so again this is chicken balls I have a lot of like sequels to finish for 2021 because I started a few series in 2020 <laughs> The first book on my list, this is definitely one of my priorities for this year, is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. This is the second book of the Poppy War series, which you all know that I really loved. Right now, I am halfway through this book. I started this one in December, but I wasn't able to finish it. By the way, if you don't know what the Poppy War series is, so it started when Rin, a war orphan, she decided to take an entrance exam to this very prestigious military school in their nation. And of course, she she will get it and then from then on she will be trained to be a military to prepare their nation to the upcoming poppy war anyway next series that i want to continue for 2021 oh, so this is fried shawmai next series that i want to finish for this year is this one a torch against the night by sabah tahir so this is the second book in an ember in the ashes series and this is a quartet, I think. In case you don't know what An Ember and the Ashes is all about, um, it follows the story of these three characters. We have Laia, who is from a place, a nation, or a city. I forgot specifically what their place is called, but they are being colonized by this empire. And if you don't follow their rules, you will get killed. And something will happen to her family because of that. And then we're also following these two characters, Elias and Helene. And they were like a trainee in a military school for this empire. And they were trained to be soldiers, of course, to serve the said empire. And they are from two different worlds, but their paths will intertwine. Their lives will intertwine. And I just love how everything went in An Ember in the Ashes. So I want to continue this book and finish the series. At least finish this one. Um, The next series that I want to finish is one that was just released. Like as a sequel to one of my favorite dystopian series of all time. And that is Rebel by Marie Lu. So... This book is the fourth book in the Legend series. This was released last year. This follows the story of 
the brother of one of the main characters in the legend series and i don't know anything about this story i don't know what this is all about i just want to read it because this is a continuation this is a world that is set on a series that i really love and i know that i have to read it very very soon and then last sequel on my pile is Si Jana Silang at Ang Laban ng Manananggal Mambabarang by Edgar Calabia Samar. This is the second book of the Jana Silang series, which I also really, really loved in 2020. I started the series back in August and I wasn't able to finish or continue the series. And there's still one more book that's coming this year, I think. And before that one comes out, I should be able to read the second book at the very least. So if you don't know yet, Jana Silang is a Filipino written book. It's a YA fantasy. It follows the protagonist named Jana Silang and he is a player of this game called Tala. And Tala is based on different mythological creatures in the Philippines. That's why it's very that's the wind. I'm sorry. That's why it's very interesting and very engaging. I'm sorry I'm not eating that much because I don't know how to talk while I'm eating. We're moving on to the series or to the fantasy books that I want to get to this year. And the first book that I have is actually a book that I have already finished. That is The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by V. Ishwab. In case you don't know yet what this is about, this story follows Adelaru who made a deal with a devil or a god of whatever. The blessing, the one positive thing that Adelaru got from their deal is that she has an immortal life. But the downside or the curse of this deal is that everyone will forget her. And then after 300 years, she will meet this one person who will remember her. That is where the main plot is gonna unfold. I'm going to dive into my thoughts about this whole book on my January wrap-up. Hopefully, I can put that up in the next few days. Alright, one of my favorite street foods talaga is kikyam. So this is one street food that I will not get tired of eating because I really love it. So, Next book! It's This Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. As far as I know, this is a duology. Uh, the second book will be out by November this year, I think. This one, I got it from Forbidden Planet. It's actually signed. If you are interested in getting like signed books or special editions of some books, um, I ordered this from the Literary Culture. I'm gonna put the link of the Instagram and Facebook of the Lit Culture below so you can also check out some amazing deals with them. By the way, all I know about this book is that this is a fantasy. It is a retelling of Romeo and Juliet and it is set in Shanghai, in China. Romeo and Juliet, gangs in China. How amazing is that? So I am so so excited to read this book. I feel like I'm gonna love it. That's what I feel. Next book that I have in here is one fantasy series that's very very hype. It's Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I don't know what this book is all about. I haven't read the synopsis. It's just that everybody has been talking about it in book Twitter and bookstagram and the book community in general and everybody loved this book or probably liked it at the very least and I know a very few people who really didn't like the book but this is a favorite book of a lot of my favorite booktubers so I I know that I need to read it even though I don't know what is it about so yeah I hope that I can get to this one of these days because I just want to get this off my list <laughs> The next book is another hyped series in this community. This is Strange Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. And as I've said, this is another duology that I would like to get into this year. Also, I don't know anything about it. All I know is that a lot of my friends really loved it and really recommended this book to me. And also, this world is just so easy to navigate and to understand. I just want to read it and just like Six of Crows, I just want to get this off my list and know if I will really like it and if I will continue the second book. So yeah. Alright, so the rest of my pile in here, there are no fantasy books. I think I will start with the two books that I've already read this month. Mm -hmm. It's Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. As I've said, 
I've already read this book this month and I have some thoughts about it. I'm going to like share it in my wrap-up video. But this one is a male-to-male -male adult romance. It follows these two characters, Alex, who is the son of the President of the United States, and Henry, who is a Prince of Wales. And they have this reputation and they will build this kind of fake friendship thing that's going to happen and then eventually they will fall in love with one another but again i'm gonna give my review in another video but i've already read it and i'm just so happy next book is a filipino book that i have just read this week and that is Bata Bata Paano Ka Ginawa by Luel Hati Bautista. This book, I've said this in a previous video of mine that I have watched the movie adaptation multiple times and I haven't read the book. So I tried it this month and I just... I loved it. But anyway, this story is an adult fiction. It follows this mother, Leia, who has two children. And both of them have different fathers. Alright, so next book that I have in here is a um, historical fiction. This is by an author that I also would like to read more of this year because one of her books is one of my most favorite books of all time. I just respect this author so much because I know what she's been doing for the community for the past years because I've been following her on all her socials. So that book is The Signature of All Things by Elizabeth Gilbert. I don't know what this book is all about. All I know is that this fiction, it follows a woman in the 19-whatever. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's 1800s. And that's it. I don't know about this book, but I just want to read more books from Elizabeth Gilbert. So I felt like I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah, that's it. So the next books on my list, I have here a couple of thrillers or mystery adult fiction the first one that i have is big little lies by leon moriarty all i know about is that it follows this three women they are were like adult grown up women who have like a lot of controversies and issues in their lives they said that this book is very funny but it's also very engaging and very interesting because there's a lot of mystery there are like murders and dead bodies so i haven't read the synopsis but I'm so excited to read this book. Okay, another thriller that I have is Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I've been saying since last year that I'm going to read this book, but I haven't yet. And I just want to read this book because this is the only Gillian Flynn book that I haven't read yet. All I know about this one is that there is this protagonist named Libby. And when she was young, her brother killed her mother and her other siblings. Yeah, that's terrible. Alright, the next books that I have are nonfiction. I'm going to start with a book that I am also currently reading. That is this book, Educated by Tara Spill. <laughs> But Tara was over. <laughs> anyway, Educated is about the author. This is a memoir. It follows the story of Tara and her family. They came from these mountains in Idaho. I was really so interested about this book because I knew that Tara started schooling when she was 17 years old, but then she graduated in Harvard and Cambridge later on. I also know that there are like violence and domestic abuse in this one so i'm just really careful and cautious while reading this book all right the next non-fiction that i have is one book from one of my favorite authors of 2020 and this is stamped by jason reynolds and ibram x candy so this is non-fiction that in a way that it talks or explains about how deep-seated the racism is in the united states i just want to read this book first is because it's jason reynolds the second is because i want to understand more what they're going through so this is a way of me educating myself so yeah i'm so excited to read this one of these days all right so the last two physical books that i have in here are ya books that i want to get to this year the first one is rage of silence by alice Oldsman. <laughs> To be honest, I don't know anything about this book when I pick it up. Cat of Paperback Dreams really inspired me to pick this book up since 2020 and I just want to read this book. All I know about this is that this is a YA book and this is a coming of age story. Last physical book that I have in here is also another YA that I've heard a lot of good reviews in booktube that is 
Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. All I know about this is that this is a YA contemporary with romance. Um, it follows the story of this anonymous author of a webcomic that became popular and then she will meet a writer of a fan fiction about that webcomic. So those are all the physical books that I already have that I will get to this year. But I have here four more books that I haven't received yet. I've already ordered it but it hasn't arrived yet. The first one that I have is another sequel of a series that I started in 2020 and that is The Heart Forger by Reen Chapeggo. So this one is the second book of the Bone Witch series which I also love with all my heart. I love that book so much and I really enjoyed reading it. So I want to continue with the series with the sequels this year because I know that there's a lot more romance in this book and I have an OTP in the series so I'm so excited to dive into this one. <laughs> The next one that I have in here that hasn't arrived yet, I've ordered it from BOTM, again through Literary Culture, they're linked down below, but that is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Lock Every Door is one of the thrillers that I've been wanting to read for such a long time, but I haven't found a copy here in the Philippines that's cheap and also like reasonable and that I found this in book of the month and I know that I have to get it so it's on my way to me and I know that once I receive it I will read it immediately so this book I don't know anything about um, I think it has like house invasion trope I don't know but it's a thriller and it's a Riley Saker book which I really really love to read from since 2020 so yeah, I think I will like it. I just really think. Third book that hasn't arrived yet, but again, I've ordered it from the literary culture. That is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. Tan, I think. This is the book cover. This one, I am so, so excited to read this book for such a long time because a lot of reviews said that this is a fiction with magical realism. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna cry in this book and I also know like Trish really loved this book. A lot of booktubers really liked it. So I think that I have to try this book because first, it's a sad book. Second, it's about family dynamics. I love those kind of themes. And yeah, it has magical realism. It's everything that I want in a book. I'm so excited to read it. I hope to get my copy very, very soon. Last book. We are on to the last book, finally. To be honest, I don't know if I've reached 21 or if I've exceeded 21 books in this list. But the last book that I have on my list is Becoming by Michelle Obama. I've been wanting to read this book for such a long time because I really love Michelle Obama. I just want to read this book even though I don't know what the story is going to be about. All I know is that this is nonfiction and it's a memoir and it's about her story and that's all I know about it. So anyway, I'm done but I'm not yet done eating. These are the books that I really wanted to get through this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've reached this part, maybe you can tell me what is one book, probably a backlist title or a new release that you'd like to get into this year. One book that you're committed to finish this year. And write it down on the comment section below. Let's chat there. If you've read any of the books that I've showed for today, maybe you can talk to me about it as well. And if I should prioritize it, if I should read it next month or very soon, I don't know. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this very chill quintuhan about this books and also like a little mukbang that I have in here. And also please tell me if you want me to do something like this again in the future. Let me know your thoughts about this video. And yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that you are safe and healthy wherever you are. If you are from the Philippines, you haven't registered yet, please do so that we can vote wisely in 2022 elections. And also, just remember, the world is yours for the reading. Bye, and see you on the next one.